In this video, we are discussing about parasitic plants. Parasitic plant is a plant that obtains all or parts of its nutrition from the host plant. without contributing any benefit to the host but causing extreme damage to the host plant. The defining structural feature of a parasitic plant is the hostorium. It is a specialized organ that penetrates to the host. There are two types of parasitic plants hollow parasites and hemiparasites. Hollow parasites on the other hand are non-photosynthetic and depend on their host plants for all nutrition. For example, cascata. Cascata is a hollow parasitic plant. It is a leafless plant with branching stems ranging in thickness from thread-like filaments to heavy coats. Once they are firmly attached to the host plant, the cascata root withers away. The mature plant leaves its entire life without attachment to the ground. Next one is Rafflesia. This plant has no stems, leaves or roots. It is also a hollow parasite. By spreading its absorptive organ, the hostorium, inside the tissue of the host plant, it absorbs all nutrients. The only part of Rafflesia that can be seen outside the host is the flower. Hemiparasites Hemiparasites have at least one ability to photosynthesis. They primarily rely on their host for water and mineral nutrients. For example, Loranthus. Loranthus is a stem partial parasite. It grows on trees like mango. Plant absorbs mineral and water from the host plant through the sucking roots. Aerial part of Loranthus bear green leaves and capable of photosynthesis. Another example for hemiparasite plant is sandalwood. Sandalwood is also a hemiparasite or root parasite which tap the roots of other species for water and inorganic nutrients. But sandalwood can photosynthesize their own food. Both hollow parasites and hemiparasites are causing extreme damage to the host plants. <laughs> 